The book of Hebrews, written to those, well, it's written to Hebrews, who are all caught up in trying to continue to be Hebrews living by the law. So the writer begins to tell them they can rest. In fact, chapter four of the book of Hebrews is all about the promise of rest and entering into rest and just trusting in what the Lord has done for us, not what we have to continually do for him. Of course, we do for him because we love him, but not to earn any kind of salvation or any kind of perks, if you will, with the Lord. So chapter four is all about, hey, listen, you can enter in to the rest that God has for you. It's not about works anymore. In fact, listen to what he says in verse 15. He says, we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. You don't have to work at it, he says, to try and find mercy and grace. We have a high priest that's different from an earthly high priest. This is one who's gone through every temptation, every situation, just like you and I. And we can come to him boldly, he says, come to his throne of grace. Listen to what he says, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Stop stressing, stop working, stop trying, stop pushing. Find your rest in his grace in that time of need and let him help you. Don't work for it. Let him pour his grace and mercy into your life.